Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, chapter. In this chapter, we will study about what is cyber security. Basically, what is IS, ICS cyber security? So if we go for the definition, cyber security is the practice of protecting systems, networks and programs from digital attacks. These cyber attacks are usually aimed at assessing, changing or destroying sensitive information, extorting money from users or interrupting normal business and process. So in upcoming chapters, we will study about the cyber attacks also. So in each of these cyber attack, you will see that the motive of the hacker or the attacker is to interrupt the normal business processes or to extort money or to destroy the sensitive information or it could be war type of situation like nation states are acting to attack the critical infrastructures of other countries and they want to interrupt the normal process, simple. So whatever and whoever is doing this, we need to create our solutions. We need to defend our solutions. We need to protect our networks, critical infrastructures from these type of attack. So whatever we do technically and administratively to defend our systems, that comes our, under cyber security. To understand cyber security, we need to see a cyber attack also. So what is the anatomy of a cyber attack? So before if we decide, if we want to decide defense in depth protection of an organization uh, for an ISIS in environment, it is important to understand the methods by the malicious actors to successful attack these systems. So many of these techniques used by great threat by the threat agents are same as those used by security professional to test network and system for vulnerability. So whatever we do for testing, they do in the production environment for the attacks and to determine which defense in depth countermeasures to put in place. So it is a constant cat and mouse game, like Jack and Jerry we can say. And the challenge is to ensure that the information and systems available to infiltration are constantly monitored and updated to protect against ever emerging threat. So that is our aim as a cyber security professional. We always aim for protection and uh, as a cyber hacker, their aim is to always intrude those systems. So basically a, a cyber attack starts with like three process one is discovery another is attack third is intrusion so basically what happens in the uh, discovery so characterize systems find the weakness and vulnerabilities then in attack it is exploit vulnerable people process and component and data exploited uh, and intrusion data exfiltration denial of service command and control operation so a cyber attack generally follows a process allowing the attacker to perform reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is discovery or discovery by using some tool. So if you open Kali Linux, you will find multiple tools like Nmap, uh, Burp Suite and all those things of the targeted business. Then develops and executes the attack. Then he develops and executes the uh, attacks. So in discovery phase, a threat agent performs reconnaissance by probing the network parameter. So they will reach the network parameter to characterize the system. Uh, they will determine if there is a firewall or not, what types of web or other internet facing servers are used and whether they are open communication ports are available or not. So these type of activities are done in discovery phase. Then develops and executes the attack and finally uses the attacker's command and control presence to extract data or achieve the attacker's goal on the system. So their the motive is to first identify what is there and then they will determine the weakness and the vulnerability. When the attacker has determined potential intrusion vectors, they determine that the weakness and vulnerabilities are inherent in the targeted system. So they can get the uh, weakness uh, of the systems from internet also, like if they know the serial number and device number or make and model or the operating system version, they will find a lot of weakness vulnerabilities already uh, published out there. Then for attack method, they can use uh, multiple things like uh, weak authentication, network scanning, removable media, brute force intrusion, abuse of access authority, spear phishing. So those types, they can send a mail to a operator who is sitting in the plant and with a malware attached to it. So once malware drops into that system, it can proliferate or it can migrate to other systems also. So there are several attacks we'll discuss also like black energy. So uh, it's, it's a similar type of attack where spear phishing mail was used. Unauthorized access attacks can uh, also be done. Then database or SQL injection attacks can be done. OPC DCOM attacks are also done. So there was one campaign called Operation Dragonfly that used uh, OPC classic protocol exploitation. Social engineering attacks can happen. So people will be attacked who are working in that plant. 
so to gain the knowledge of that plant so one that attack thing is uh, intruded uh, initial access is done they have a good foothold in the plant premises or plant network then they will start data exfiltration or denial of service or command and control operation take command of the plant give command to devices uh, change the feedback change the alarm so this is what we need to we need to see what type of intrusion what type of attack what type of discovery technologies are being used by attacker and we need to define our terms we need to see what type of technologies we can implement here to safeguard all these things so that is all about cyber security let's move ahead thank you